Hey, hey, we are on Saturday in this video follow through time. I'm Pastor Fred. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, we are taking each and every day, we're taking some time and, and looking at the scriptures, right? Looking at the Bible and saying, okay, that God loves us, He forgives us, and, and He wants us to believe that. So we're going to follow through on that. And we're going to embrace who He is, and we're going to embrace uh, the, the life that He wants us to live each and every day. And so, we are kind of on the day after Black Friday is where we find ourselves. And, uh, you know, again, such a focus on how sales are going and, and the crowds and all that. And, you know, and I think this year, uh, you know, I'm, I'm filming this well before the, it hits. So um, we'll have to have a conversation about what actually happens. But um, there's one thing I want us to see as we look at how we're going to how we're going to bless the people in our lives during during the Christmas time, Christmas holiday. And, and that is that God loves a cheerful giver. Uh, 2 Corinthians 9, this is the passage after what we talked about yesterday in, in verse 7. He says, each one must give as he has decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. So God loves a cheerful giver. We've heard that before, don't we? And so what that speaks to is our motivation for giving. Now, we all know what it means to, to get. We all love to receive things, don't we? We love to get gifts. Giving is a little bit more difficult, especially if our heart is in the wrong place. In other words, if I think that this money is mine, that, th that these resources, my time is mine, and, and no one else gets to, gets to even have a say in how that's spent or any of that, giving is going to be difficult. And, uh, and, and, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt even. But, but it doesn't have to. See, what God calls us to do is to say, okay, let's, let's decide in our heart. Let, let's not have somebody guilt us into it. But, but let's look at it like, I get to give. In other words, God is the one who keeps giving to me, and I can't outgive Him. And if my goal and if my focus is to give to people around me, and if that's really my motivation, and, and we got to be real careful here, that I'm, not, not, that I'm not giving so that I'll get more stuff. See, that's, that's again a form of selfishness that we want to avoid. We want to ask God to forgive us for when we're doing that. But to say, Lord, think of how many people just, just get to be blessed. Like during Christmas, how many people get to know that they're not alone? They get to know that, that given the year that we've had, that, that there still is hope. And I really think like the more that we give, like the more people can be helped. And so that's how we decide. Not because somebody's compelling us or making us feel guilty, uh, right? He says not reluctantly even, right? If, if, if we have to be kind of shaken upside down and, you know, so somebody can empty our pockets, is, is that really giving? And I got to say, it doesn't, it doesn't, it certainly doesn't seem like it based on this passage. What we're talking about is giving motivated by God's love, His forgiveness, and His freedom that we have. We have absolute freedom in Christ. And so let's look at giving as an opportunity. But let's see who we can help, remembering like, like just the impact that we can make with what God has given to us. All right? And so I'm looking forward to seeing what God's going to do during this holiday season as we, as we uh, start Advent next week. And we're going to have some special follow-throughs uh, during the whole season of Advent. Uh, and, and I want to encourage you, um, especially during Advent, to gather your family around, maybe watch these, uh, maybe watch it before and then, uh, you know, maybe use whatever is there to, uh, you know, the Bible passage and maybe some of the words that are there to, um, to have a really good discussion with your family. Uh, and maybe even, uh, I think especially even a time of prayer with them uh, or with your friends, all right? Hoping, looking forward to that and uh, just look for those starting next week. God's peace and we'll talk to you soon.